Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. It's happening. President Trump just landed a smashing strike upon the FBI's leadership and slammed them with a thunderous pounding of truth. Trump went at the head of the FBI leadership, swinging for their leader as he busted out with a quote that essentially levels the FBI to their knees. Trump isn't happy with the way Hillary Clinton's email investigation has proceeded, and he wasn't shy about demanding better for America. He laid out some commentary about the FBI leadership and gave a slight hint about the future of the FBI. Trump called Clinton's investigation a shame, and he's not going to shy away from being honest with his words. He always tells it like it is, as he has absolutely no shame in his game. Trump rapid fires words and tweets faster than anyone you know, and he has no problem saying what's on the top of his mind. Daily Mail reported. President Donald Trump has attacked the FBI leadership while proclaiming loyalty and support for law enforcement in an address at the agency's training academy. It's a shame what's happened with the FBI, the president said as he left the White House for Quantico, Virginia. He called the agency's handling of Hillary Clinton's email investigation really disgraceful and said we're going to rebuild the FBI. Trump pointed out, on Twitter that an FBI agent who was pro-Clinton and anti-Rump was running the investigation into Hillary. That's a gigantic conflict of interest as it suggests that, apparently, there would be nothing found in regards to Hillary Clinton being guilty of any wrongdoing. A proper investigation requires someone neutral, not partisan, to compile evidence, review it, and produce the appropriate results. President Trump later touched on the topic of anti-police sentiment and stated how he's more loyal to police than anyone you can imagine. Trump is tired of hearing people talk poorly about police officers. Police in America has one of the hardest jobs you can ever imagine. Those of us working at jobs free of violence and dealing with criminals do not understand what a police officer deals with on a daily basis. Police need support from all Americans. Trump supports the police and we should too. He told law enforcement leaders he is more loyal than anyone else could be to police. Anti-police sentiment is wrong and it's dangerous, he added. Anyone who kills a police officer should get the death penalty. Mr. Trump used the speech to promote his administration's tough-on-crime policies, delivering a stern warning to members of the international gang MS-13 that his administration will root them out and arrest them. He also celebrated his decision to make it easier for local police forces to purchase surplus military equipment and questioned rising violence in Chicago. Trump is right. If a criminal kills a police officer or any figure of law enforcement, then they should get the death penalty. Of course, the person needs to be found undeniably guilty beyond any reasonable doubt. There cannot be any doubt that a person is guilty when a criminal is read the death penalty. Trump talks about anti-police sentiment is dangerous, and he's 100% correct. Those who speak poorly of police provide an encouraging atmosphere of violence towards police. The anti-cop rhetoric, most often pouring from the leftists like a leaky faucet filled with sewage, are who often lead to acts of violence towards police and an increase in crime in general. At what point did the leftist culture decide that police were not a figure of authority and to not treat them as such? Are these the same kind of people who send their children to school with no sense of discipline? The same people who break the laws as children in the classroom, then later become criminals? President Trump's words infer that we Americans need to support our police, demand equal and fair investigations from the FBI and together we can accomplish wonderful objectives that help make America great. America's people need to pull together and do what's best for the country. The extremists on the left who call for some of the most unreasonable demands must sit back, realize what they're saying doesn't make any sense, and come to their senses when it comes to important things such as our police and the FBI investigations. When Trump calls out the leadership of the FBI and wants to rebuild them, then that's another swamp to drain for his will to make America great again, again, 